Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, hey, Kathy. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Corina Santangelo. I'm an MPA 99, and I'm the chair of the HKS Alumni Board. We are joined here by Injing Deng. She is also a member of the board as Kathy Hudson and Marvin, and Marvin uh, Benton. So we, we welcome you here to HKS. For some of us, it was KSG a long time ago, but now it's HKS. So for, you know, it's kind of funny uh, that we changed the name, but well, that's, that's our name now. So I want to welcome everybody that's uh, following us uh, on the streaming uh, service. Uh, especially a very important boy named Matias. He's abroad, he's far away, but we're honoring his father today. So uh, Matias, you're welcome to this meeting. Uh, so this is the, uh, the uh, and excuse me if I you know, just move around my, my paper. So uh, this is our meeting, our annual meeting, the board meeting. We had our uh, board meeting yesterday and we're kicking off uh, the reunion events uh, by you know, just telling you what is it that the board does and what is it that the HKS Alumni Association does. Uh, the HKS Alumni Association includes everybody, every alumni, uh, so you are already a lifelong member of the association. It includes the regional networks, the special interest groups, the six. so if you hear the word SIG, that, uh, that is a special interest group, and also all the class committees. Uh, the annual meeting is when the board uh, you know, talks about the work that we do all year long and also what we're planning to do uh, next year. It is held um, here at, at Reunion, it's, it is the, uh, which is the largest gathering of alumni during the year and it's open to all alumni, not only the, the people from Reunion classes. We have 10 groups of people, the, the, the eights and the threes, so you're welcome. And, and it's live stream and it's also recorded. So welcome again, and I'm passing it on to Marvin Benton. Thank you, Corinna. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, again. Special shout out to all the reunion classes that are here, and particularly my class, the class of 1988. And I'm mid-career uh, 1988, and currently the chair of the diversity committee on the alumni board. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about the board and our composition. Uh, right now, we have over 25,000 degree program uh, recipients who are alumni. 70% of degree program alumni live in the United States. Professional learning alumni, we're over 66,000 plus. We represent over 211 countries and territories. The official HKS alumni network is in 20 locations, geographically based. The largest U.S. populations are in D.C., Boston, New York, San Francisco, and L.A. The largest international populations are in London, Paris, Delhi, Tokyo, and Beijing, and Mexico City. And we have alumni ambassadors in 13 additional locations. We have seven shared interest groups that Corinna mentioned a minute ago. So the alumni board leads the alumni association. We work in close collaboration with the alumni relations office, which we affectionately call ARO. We have 20 elected and appointed voting members, two representatives to the Harvard Alumni Association Board. Election by alumni for eight board seats occur every two years for a four-year term, and you can also be appointed, and the appointments are sourced from other alumni leaders for four board seats every two years, two-year terms. And we meet twice a year and up to two times online, virtually, in addition to doing our committee work. We develop annual plans of action and an annual report on accomplishments. And we also select alumni awards. Here is the present board of those that are on the board right now, as of this moment. 
You also need to know that next year is an election year for us. So people like myself who terms in in 2024 uh, will be up for election, eight of us next year. Thank you very much and I'm gonna hand it back to Corinna. Thank you, Marvin. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the board priorities and like we're gonna just let you guys know what is it that we did during the year. So our, our goal is to serve and represent the alumni uh, by creating a value through like actionable plans uh, that engage alumni among themselves and also engage alumni with the school. And we were focusing on building like a true sense of belonging uh, even when we were far away from the school in our countries, on, in, in our, on our cities. Uh, we want to advance a closer relationship with the school uh, to ensure that, that our representation is, is true and that we, and we also want to promote a collaborative work, working relationship with the school aimed at being a trusted uh, source and a trusted partner and a sounding board for the school. We want to cement uh, a board culture that is based on value creation but is also performed in a cordial and collaborative manner where every, every single board member is truly engaged. And we want to increase board visibility uh, through the work that we do and the results that we get to help build a pi pipeline of leadership um, uh, through me with the alumni body. We want to, to we want more people coming and want, wanting to be interested in being part of not only the board, but also a very active alumni community. Uh, so now it's kind of, that's kind of a crowded uh, slide. <laughs> You know, they told me so, but now that I'm seeing it over there, I'm like, they, they, they were right. Uh, so so these, uh, the, 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 our, our priorities are mainly to work closely with the school. As Marvin said, uh, the Arrow is our partner in crime here. They help us a lot, and we, we work each other very well. We, this year, we, we had lots of firsts, at least four firsts this year. We conducted our first board-led alumni survey to inform the work that we're going to do next year. Uh, we also hosted, co-hosted with the IOP, our first forum event on disability this year. And we have started conversations with the dean and other senior administrators uh, regarding the MPA, MPP program updates. So we're hoping we can work together with the dean and its team uh, to be, as we said before, a sounding board. We have several committees. The Continuing Education Committee uh, put together two wonderful events, um, uh, re reaching more than 150 uh, alumni globally. And we have identified that alumni, when they when they talk with alumni, they would like to, you know, engage in issues like lifestyle and career pivots. Uh, so we're going to be working on that next year as well. The Nominations Committee worked on welcoming the 12 new members of the board. So we, we, we put together a buddies program and we want the new board members to hit the ground running. So the onboarding program, program was aimed at providing them with all the information uh, to start their work ready. And we also uh, produced uh, some recommendations to improve the communication of appointed board members. Uh, that's a process that happens every two years, so, but it wasn't like uh, very well communicated. So we, we hope that alumni understand that process better. The Alumni Awards Committee, uh, they continue their annual uh, working very successfully on the HKS Alumni Awards Program, which is the second part of this program today, my favorite part, where we're honoring alumni and the wonderful work that they do around the world. The Diversity and Enrollment Committee, they did fantastic work this year, so they, in, they engaged in a very collaborative conversations uh, with the school leadership to understand the actions that the school is taking regarding uh, advocacy, diversity, and inclusion. And they produce a 12, uh, key, 12 key recommendations to the school uh, to, to foster diversity of faculty, staff, and also students. And they also organized a wonderful webinar, Race and Democracy, with professors Khalil Mohammed and Arkon Fung. And finally, the, the Connections Committee, uh, they carried out, we carried out our third year of mentorship events with students. Uh, we, got, we, we got to do our first in-person meeting here at the school with students and alumni of the greater Boston region. 
and, and we continued working with KSSG, which is something that we started two years ago, and with other um, alumni, uh, student, excuse me, student uh, organizations globally. So this is what we do. And uh, to talk a little bit more about the survey, which was very, it is very interesting, let me introduce you to Katie Hudson. Hello everyone, um, I'm Kathy Hudson and I'm wrapping up my first year as part of the uh, board as an elected member. I'm also part of uh, the member, member at large on the EXCO committee and also part of the mentoring committee. Uh, before I get started, I want to uh, acknowledge the work of Sarah Spencer, another board member who actually led and designed the, uh, the survey, but unfortunately she couldn't be here, and also to Michael Humphreys in the back who helped uh, tabulate the results. So why did we do the survey? If the board wanted to uh, really get, in, get feedback from the community about the focus and priorities for the next year. We also wanted to understand the sentiment of the alumni uh, community and, and to figure out you know, what, what we wanted to work on. So the survey, we had about four, over 400 respondents. The majority of them came from the MPP and the mid-career program. About 70% of respondents were uh, based in North America. North America, which is pretty consistent with the population of the alumni community as well. Um, so on the first question, we wanted to really understand how well the community understood the board. So over 60% said that they understood the board mission. However, over 50% said that they didn't um, have a clear idea of how the board executes on that mission or either how to contact that mission. So for us, that's an opportunity for us to really uh, expand the engagement, expand the awareness of what the board does and make sure that you know, what we're doing and the programs that we're leading really uh, reach the, the alumni. On the second question, we, we asked respondents to rank the current nine board initiatives uh, in terms of importance and some of the general themes that came out and I know you can't see it in the in the in the graph but we'll be sharing some of these results but the overall theme was around uh, higher ranking themes around career and advancement and continuing education and mentoring so there was a heavy emphasis on the respondents in terms of connections and helping uh, wanting help around their careers as they pivot or try to explore or understand what to do next as well as connecting to each other and for us to continue our, our lifelong journey around lifelong learning, is, which is a, a big part of the Kennedy School as well. On the other question, we, we, we asked them uh, to rank the eight opportunities that the board should pursue. And as, you know, the general theme, again, is around connections and making sure that we are able to, to communicate. So the number one area that they, they thought was most important was that communication uh, contact information for across the alumni community. Uh, the other one was around virtual learning opportunities, which again ties into that lifelong learning and career development. Uh, the secondary to that area of interest was around facilitating professional development. So it really does drive home the point of, uh, you know, the alumni, at least those who responded, really want our help in, in uh, career advice, career pivoting, and connecting to each other. Overall, in terms of the, the general themes and some of the free text, we did ask them, you know, are there other things that you want us to think about? The general overwhelming theme was around, again, connections. Uh, connections meaning alum to alum and alum to students. And we've done some work there in terms of the mentoring program, but we're also discussing other ways to facilitate that, those connections across the community. So as Karina mentioned, we will use this feedback. So thank you if you did participate in the survey. Thank you so much for uh, providing us feedback. We will use that feedback in the planning for next year in terms of the committees and maybe how the areas that we focus within those committees. And hopefully, we will be able to do this on a regular basis so that we can get a full understanding of how well we're doing to meet the needs of the overall alumni community. So, so thank you for that. Uh, so with that, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Yin, Yin Jing um, as well. So thank you. So now we come to the um, most exciting part, <laughs> how to get engaged with HKS alumni. 
you can see from the map, we, so the easiest way is to join a regional network. You can see from the map, like we have regional networks across six continents in 23 countries. And here in the United States, we have 10 regional networks. Along in the eastern part, we have New, uh, New England chapter, uh, New York chapter, and DC chapter. So um, you can go to the HKS website uh, to check them out. It tells you the way to get connected with them. So most of them has its own website, um, email list, and social media group. And so um, many of them are very active and organize all kinds of networking events um, and the like webinars and provides the um, uh, volunteer opportunities locally. So those are the best chance for you to meet and connect with alumni in your region. If your region is not in the list and you want to uh, create a one uh, by yourself, uh, please reach out to the HKS uh, uh, Alumni Relation Office. They will be very happy to assist you. It's also a good way to connect with alumni through your interest. We have seven wonderful shared interest groups. They are Adaptive Leadership, Black Alumni Association, Emerging Technologies, Pride Caucus. Just want to highlight this is our latest one, which is founded in the year of 2021. We also have state and the local governments, Women's Network, Women in Defense, Diplomacy and Development. There's also many other opportunities to get connected. You can just simply send a class note or update your information in the uh, Harvard Alumni Directory so let people know how you're doing. So it's also a good way to uh, get connected and also be a volunteer. I know like there are some like reunion volunteers here today they work very, very hard to help us to put together the whole reunion uh, weekend together. So thank you very much. And um, you can also join us and serve the HKS Alumni Board. Uh, we will have an election the next year. So please keep an eye if you're interested in. And if you are interested in uh, support HKS uh, students and you can participate in those events organized by OCA and admission office. Lastly, very important, give back um, uh, to support the uh, HKS students. I know some of uh, you already done so, so thank you very much. And if you're interested in to get more involvement and you have um, some questions, please feel free to reach out uh, our board members. We will be here in the rest of the day. So thank you, and we'll hand over to Karina. Thank you. Well, uh, we're almost about to finish this part of the, of the program, which is letting you guys know what we're planning for next year. Um, looking forward. So yesterday, we, we spent uh, all the afternoon with the board. We have two board meetings each year, the first one uh, is a two-day meeting. Uh, yesterday was a one-day meeting, one afternoon, very productive afternoon. We had our first uh, strategic planning session, so we used the information that uh, that we got from the uh, from the survey and the information that Kathy and Michael worked so diligently to to let us, you know, just understand. And so we we're planning on continuing on those programs that have been pretty successful. Uh, which is the mentoring, and also we would like to expand mentoring not only to students. That program started uh, with the pandemic. We found out that students were kind of alone, at home, far away, or here in Cambridge, in their own apartments, not being able to come to school. So that's when we said, okay, let's let's bring in the uh, the, the the future alumni and start working with them when they're students. So that program started. Uh, three years ago, and we want to move forward and do more of an alumni to alumni mentoring thing. Uh, we we discovered that people would like to talk, as uh, Kathy also mentioned about career pivoting, and there's 
people from the like what we call early ages uh, that want to you know mentor people that are maybe in their 40s or 50s and they want to do a career change. So I don't know if there's any people from the uh, uh, the classes of 73 or 78 here. Anybody? Hey, and he's from Mexico. Yeah, you know? good, Armando. Welcome. So, oh, one over there as well, and one. Okay, seventy-eight. <laughs> okay, good, good for you. You're very welcome. So, so that's so. Those are the things we want to uh, to keep working on, uh, building that relationship with the school. There's uh, a lot of planning that we are doing over the summer, so we can we can start working. Uh, in the month of August when the academic year starts and, and put together programming for all of you guys um, here and, and abroad globally. So, so that's that uh, from us, from the alumni board. We, we have a blast working together. We enjoy working with, with each other. We make friendships. I mean, it's just a group of 22 people who don't know each other. Uh, and we get together because we have the same interest, which is serving alumni and the school. And it's been working wonderfully. So if you guys are interested in joining, and I repeat this again, this is an election year, and you can self-nominate. Uh, so I think we're on time. Uh, yes? OK, good, Karen. Well, Karen, is she's the leader of Arrow. She's our uh, partner. And we, we thank her and her team for everything she does for the board. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> so I think, I think the dean is here. Is Doug here? Okay. Good morning. Come along. So let me introduce you to, to Dean Elmendorf. She, he is a Don K. Price a professor for, of public policy, and who, he will be he will be uh, giving out the awards today. So um, we can start by just a brief video of the awardees. And, and every year, I have, I'm repeating myself, but I think it's important, the HKS Alumni Board honors uh, six, uh, several alumni and alumni network for their efforts to improve uh, their communities locally, nationally, and globally with six different awards. Uh, so we are pleased to announce these year's winners with this video. Each year, Harvard Kennedy School recognizes six alumni and one alumni network for outstanding contributions to society, to the school, and to each other. Chosen by the school's alumni board and the HKS Fund Executive Council, the recipients of the annual alumni awards have demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to achieving the Kennedy School's mission to improve public policy and leadership so we can all live in societies that are more safe, free, just and sustainably prosperous. The 2023 Alumni Public Service Award goes to Jean Salim Kanan, who received his Master in Public Policy degree in 1996. His service to people in the world's most dangerous conflict zones was tragically cut short by a suicide bomber at the United Nations Assistance Mission in Baghdad on August 19, 2003 where he and 21 colleagues were killed. He left behind not only his family, including his wife and newborn son, but also dozens of friends, colleagues, and ordinary people who benefited from his work to deliver humanitarian aid in Somalia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and beyond. His colleagues and classmates loved his passion, courage, and sense of humor. He is truly missed. This year's recipient of the Emerging Global Leader Award is Halimatu Hima, a 2014 graduate of the school's MPP program. Halimatu is devoted to improving the conditions for girls and women in Africa through education, especially in rural areas of her native Niger. At organizations such as the United Nations and the World Bank, she works with stakeholders, and most important, with the people she serves, to ensure that children can access education, particularly during armed conflicts. 
David Rosenberg, mid-career MPA, class of 1986, is this year's recipient of the Julius E. Babbitt Memorial Volunteer Award. David has worked at all levels of the alumni community, from organizing class reunions to serving as an elected member of the Washington, D.C. Alumni Council, as a member of the HKS Alumni Board, and as the Kennedy School's representative to the Harvard Alumni Association. His consistent, humble approach and his accessibility to students and other alumni exemplify HKS's motto of Ask What You Can Do. The Black Alumni Association is the 2023 recipient of the Alumni Network Engagement Award. In the past year, the BAA more than doubled its membership, and its events connected more than 300 alumni on topics such as public leadership, democracy, and race and racism in the making of the United States. With enhanced communications, such as revamped website and increased partnerships with student organizations, the BAA is having an impact among HKS alumni and beyond. To recognize alumni whose long-term generosity to the HKS Fund has supported the education of countless students, this year, we honor Harriet T. Taggart and Hien Dao with the HKS Fund Outstanding Alumni Award. T, who received her master in city planning from the school in 1973, has worked across sectors in areas with major focus on environmental initiatives and access to education and advancing opportunities for women and other less advantaged populations. Hien, a 2005 MPP graduate, has experience in government and the private sector on three continents. Their contributions to the HKS Fund continue to make a difference for future public leaders by providing financial aid and student resources including funding for internships. The 2023 Digital Innovation Award goes to Inder Singh, a 2004 MPP graduate. Inder's passion for public health led him to found Kinsa, a company whose app-connected thermometers detect and track the spread of infectious disease, including COVID-19. Established in 2012, Kinsa donates and sells products that collect real-time temperature data then, with customer consent, aggregates and analyzes the anonymized information to catch outbreaks as they happen. Congratulations to the 2023 Alumni Award recipients. What a wonderful, wonderful group of people. Uh, so if, Doug, would you like to come up? So thank you. So now I am going to ask, I'm gonna call out your name and if you please come up to the stage and you're gonna uh, receive the award and, and take a picture. So we uh, are 20, 2023 winners uh, are as follows. Um, for the Public Service Award, uh, Jean Salim Kanan and accepting the award on, on his behalf is his wife Laura Dolci and Mattia Salim who's abroad studying for his exams. The Emerging Global Leader goes to Halimatu Hima, MPP 2014. Halimatu, congratulations. Next, the Julius Babbitt Award goes to David Rosenberg, MC, MPA, 86. Uh, 
unfortunately, Indar Singh is not here to receive his award, but he's, uh, he's receiving the Digital, Digital Innovation Award. Uh, now we go to the network, the Black Alumni Association, who's getting the network award. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. And now the two, the two recipients of the HKS Fund, uh, Hien Dao and, and Harriet uh, Tagard, could not be here to join us, but we congratulate them. I hope they're like, watching online. So a round of applause for them as well. And on, on this happy and emotional note, we, we finish our, our meeting today. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, get together, have fun have drinks, enjoy the weather that is absolutely beautiful, and, and congratulations you all. Thank you and good luck.